Tropical Storm Yagi, also known as Enteng, in the Philippines, continuing to strengthen off the coast of the Bicol region in southeastern Luzon in the Philippines here. Already, this storm system has been bringing some pretty decent impacts into northern Samar. Serious flooding coming out of there. Also, a report of a landslide, at least one death reported in that. We even had a uh, report of a tornado into Samar, and we're still seeing that heavy rain in and across the Bicol region around Legaspi here as this moves off towards the north and west and really a good portion of the country is seeing that threat of flooding here today on the Monday as this tracks here across Luzon all the way off towards the Cagayan Valley you're going to be looking at some impacts too and then we're still talking about the inflow on the back side of the storm now this has been upgraded from a tropical depression to a tropical storm with those winds of 65 kilometers per hour. Gust up to 80. Signal force 2 issued in a few areas here in southeastern Luzon. But it's not just the signal force warnings. I want to stress that the heavy rainfall warnings are going to be the big issue as moisture wraps in around the backside of this storm. But at this time, the track does take it just clipping the northeast coast of the Cagayan area here off towards Apari, Santa Ana. It's probably going to run right over your location and all the while inflow is going to be piling up heavy amounts of rainfall across parts of the locals north day down through region one into pangan sinan subic bay and yeah over here towards the ncr2 as it kind of just straddles the sierra madre mountains kicks off here towards the west and slowly makes its way possibly out towards the hong kong area the center of loc center of circulation uh, a little bit, uh, you know, differentiated between the few of the models or few of the guidance, I should say, with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, expecting this to stay offshore with that center. Some of the other guidance, including Pegasus, a little bit closer to the coast, while the HKO, the Hong Kong Observatory, actually has it running right over, passing just north of Iligan and then and really crossing the... Uh, uh, Kagayan province and eventually out here towards the locals north day uh, either way a lot of rainfall in this area uh, we're talking about the potential for some damaging winds with that tropical storm winds wrapping around good news this is sparsely populated not the not completely zero but on the northeast coastline but i'm still worried about the inflow coming in the back side of the storm so we pay attention to that center of circulation of course because there's going to be plenty of impacts out here towards the north but this moisture inflow wrapping in around the backside. So here we go, Monday throughout the day. This is crossing over northern Luzon into the Cagayan Valley. But then you have all that moisture uh, just continuing to pump in. Even as this is off towards the north, we're still seeing it add up here along the west coast uh, on top of that. So I think some pretty nasty weather. Captain Duanis, you already had those impacts out here as a cross beat call. Now heading off towards the north by midweek. And eventually uh, Hong Kong's probably going to want to watch this too. But as far as those rainfall totals, this is just the next 24 hours as we go ahead through the first. Uh, a good portion of central Luzon could see over 200 millimeters. The west coast, though, if, let's look ahead even beyond the next 24 hours because this heads off towards the north. And as we go ahead into Tuesday and the Wednesday, it skirts the northern coastline of Luzon. But watch this inflow. So here's Mindoro. Here's the west coast of like Cavite province, NCR, out towards Baguio, higher elevation there. Everywhere in red, indicating 300 millimeters or more of rain. So, of course... Monday morning, it's going to be heavier down here, but this is really going to add up. So I can't stress enough. Um, I feel like people on the West Coast, like they did with the last storm, are going to underestimate the potency of this forecast with the amount of rain. And you're going to see some decent flooding on the West Coast of Luzon, including the Manila area, red level rainfall warnings, overflowing dams, all of that likely in your forecast here. So for today... Yeah, southern areas of the country, relatively drier, but you're already seeing inflow in places like Port of Princess out towards Pelawan, scattered showers. Legaspi, of course, on your Monday is going to be wet, but this is all shifting towards the north with that inflow on Tuesday really impacting Manila, Subic, San Fernando, uh, Batak off towards the Ilocos North Day, and yeah, even in two parts of the Cagayan. Uh, valley, but boy, this is going to be the kind of the wetter spots on the west side of the mountains here as that inflow gets drawled in uh, behind it. I hope these graphics are useful for you. Um, I love them. They're uh, from Metro Weather's Weatherscape XT. If you're curious, you want to give them a write if you uh, want to use them in your uh, broadcast or for uh, anything else. But take a look at the inflow wrapping it around behind it once again. This is curious too that monsoonal trough dominates in another area potentially developing. 
off of that in the Philippine Sea by the end of the week too. Still a lot of questions with that, but uh, that is kind of curious. The guidance is pulling for that, maybe for impacts in Japan. But uh, yeah, gonna continue to watch this one. Boy, lots going on out here in the tropics today. And of course, I'm gonna continue to keep you posted. Do you wanna leave you with a quick word from one of our sponsors? Do you hate doing your taxes? Do you struggle figuring out what the law is and money management overseas? I wish there was an easier way. Well, FrontRunnerFinancial.com is your choice if this falls into your category. They're an international-based group of American accountants. They're based in Manila, and they're qualified to give you the best information where you are for those international finances. I wish I had these guys when I lived in Tokyo. Each year, it was a struggle. Where I needed to put money, what I needed to do, frontrunnerfinancial.com. Be sure to check them out and let them know we sent them your way. So yeah, hopefully um, if you do need them, they are useful. I wish I had a, a service like that from back in the day when I lived in Japan. Quick reminder, floodwaters can rise fast though, especially into Manila, the NCR. Want to stress one more time, scattered rain showers in your forecast, not only into the evening, but even through the afternoon. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on it out here for our friends. All right, uh, shout out as well to our Patreon members who... Uh, support this channel. I can't stress enough how important it is to have this resource uh, to making these updates and reason why I'm able to continue to post them three, four times a day sometimes. So yeah, my goal is to be able to do this 24 hours. Maybe one day we'll get there. But for now, I hope everybody stays safe, stays dry. If you have questions, let me know. And yeah, share out the video. It does help. Uh, as well. Just uh, try to get, you know, it, it helps me out, but I hope it helps some other people out, especially ahead of the storm. Make sure people are notified that there is that threat of some serious flooding. As always, stay safe out there, friends.